hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Um, so, I just want to show you today how to make a, an, an old looking certificate, um, just like this one over here. Um, it's nice to do for friends, family, um, for projects or anything like that. Okay, so I'm just going to get started. I'm just going to delete these. I've started with an A4 size paper um, with a white background. So first you want to just create a new layer, either just clicking on there or control N. Um, you want your foreground color the, to be the lighter brown. And I've got mine set at DD7B23. And you want your background color to be a darker brown. And that would be 9D4515. Okay, so you want to have the, the lighter color in the foreground. And you want to use your paint bucket tool either G or go to paint bucket tool on the toolbar over here and you want to fill the layer with the lighter brown okay and you want to then create a new layer you want to go to filter render and clouds and that brings up um, it uses both the, the foreground and the background color to create that cloud um, look to it should I say you just want to decrease our opacity to let's say let's decrease it to 50 percent just so it's not in your face too much okay so we've got our two layers here and you want to create a new layer and you want to apply the image so they're both merged together you can either merge them yourself or you can do Control alt shift and e that applies the image there or if you want you can just go up to image and apply image over there and just hit OK to have all the same same settings okay now that that's done you want to go up to filter and filter gallery and you want to go to the texture tab which is at the bottom on mine it might be for yours and texturize you want to go to you want to choose the texture as sandstone or canvas it's up to you actually which one you do you want to choose I find the um, the sandstone one works best for this scaling that's just how big you want it um, you can have it as big as you like let's um, let me put mine at 80 percent just for for the tutorial here and relief that's how <coughs> excuse me that's how deep the, the actual things are uh, I've got mine set to four <coughs> but you can increase or decrease it as you like I'm going to keep mine on four and over here the light um, it's where the light's coming from you can choose different ways um, just play around with them and find out which one you prefer I like the the bottom left one and then hit OK so now that's done let me just zoom in to show you over here you can see it's all texturized over there okay so I'm going to push control and zero to zoom out again <coughs> you want to go to your your burn tool either O or on the toolbar over there I've set my exposure to 30% um, I'm actually going to take it down to 20% you want to target your midtones and you want to make sure the brush has 0% hardness okay and you just want to go around the edges um, just darkening it up a little bit you don't want it to be too straight of a line or else it looks looks a bit too improvised um, just going around maybe do a few strokes in the center and the corners the corners are always looking old um, so we do those a bit more okay do the top a little bit more over here okay there we go so we've got our certificate template set up you want to create a new layer hit T for your type tool or go to the menu bar just on the side here click anywhere choose choose a font you like I like um, for this most my most common used font is the freestyle script okay and I'm just going to type this is a certificate center that with the background control click the background and hit the center key okay 
let me change the, the font type, the font colors. Let's make it like a nice dark brown. A bit darker than that. There we go. And now what we want to do, let me just zoom in here. You can see it looks a bit out of place here. So we're going to go to, oh, sorry, we have to convert that to a smart object. And then you go to filter, filter gallery. And it's saved all your settings from the background. Um, so that would be fine like that. And hit OK. There we go. And now it's nice like that. And if you really want to go the extra mile, go to the dodge tool and it's just going to say we can't do that rasterize okay and you want to have the exposure let's say about 30 percent you want to target the shadows and just maybe occasionally just give it a quick stripe just over it just to lighten up a few places just like that okay i hope you found this tutorial helpful um i've got more to come thank you very much